The world's fastest T plus zero stock settlement kicks off today in the Indian stock market. Hello and welcome. You are watching Business Today Television. I am Sakshi Batra and in this video I am going to help you understand what exactly is the T plus zero settlement. What will change for you as retail investors in the stock markets if you are placing your trades today and what will it mean for the entire ecosystem at large. So everything that you need to know. So stay tuned till the end of this video. First of all you need to know what exactly is the T plus zero settlement. Well here the shares will be transferred to a buyer's account and the funds will be deposited in a seller's account on the same day of trade. For instance, if you have bought a share today, usually up until today what used to happen is that only the next day that share will get reflected in your DMAT account. Similarly, if you have sold a stock today, the money will be credited to your account only the next day because India had started to shift to T plus 1 settlement of late. Now that in addition to that from today onwards there is a beta phase that has been launched for a limited number of stocks under the T plus 0 settlement which means up until today if you trade in some of these stocks the money will be reflected in your account the same day that's today and the stock will also get uh, shown into your account just today itself. Now since this has been launched in the beta phase the same day settlement will remain optional and also run parallel to the current T plus 1 cycle for now in the equity cash segment. Now which are the stocks that will be trading in the T plus 0 segment from today? Well according to a circular that's been issued by the Bombay Stock Exchange, 25 companies whose shares will be available for trading in the same day settlement mechanism will include stocks like Amuja Cements, Ashok Leland, Bajaj Auto, Bank of Baroda, BPCL, Birla Soft, Sipla, Coforge, Divis Laboratories, Hindalco, Indian Hotels Company, JSW Steel, LIC Housing Finance, LTI Mindtree, MRF, Nestle, NMDC, ONGC, Petronet LNG, Samvardhan Mother Sun, State Bank of India, Tata Communications, Trent, Union Bank of India, Vedanta as well. So these are the set of stocks to begin with the testing of T plus zero settlement will happen. At the same time, you also need to check whether your own brokerage house is actually offering you that T plus zero settlement because as of today, we have got to know from two brokerage houses that they have not yet started. Motilal Oswal and Access Securities have not started it as of yet. But we are yet to know about the details of the brokers that are offering this because this scheme is running parallel in the beta phase starting today. But eventually most of uh, the brokers will start to offer this eventually after the beta phase gets into and uh, across the board stocks as well. Additionally, from in case these are list of the stocks that you are trading in today. So starting morning till about 1.30 pm is the stock purchase and uh, the sell off in the stock will be considered for T plus 0. Beyond that it will not be considered. Closing price will remain as what is uh, as per the stock market hours but if you have punched your trade uh, before 1.30 pm you will be eligible for uh, you know T plus 0 settlement that is by the end of the day today or something you will get to see whether the stock has been uh, again delivered to your account or the money has been delivered to your account. So the question is how will this new system really help traders and investors? Well a shorter settlement cycle on full implementation is actually aimed at making the system more dynamic since funds will be available on the same day of selling. It is expected to improve liquidity as well. So this will allow traders to use cash better say for example you got your money today again tomorrow you can set off for another trade you don't have to wait for a t plus 1 or a t plus 2 by when the money will come to your account and by that time uh, you have to keep waiting because you do not have excess funds so this will ensure same day you get the funds and you can process it or use it better in the next day so one of the biggest successes of t plus 0 settlement for retail traders will be if they receive the funds on the same day and they are available for the next day of trading that's what most of the experts are talking about Brokers are saying that even in the current T plus 1 settlement, there have been various instances of investors receiving the funds late, beating the purpose of a shorter cycle. But now T plus 0 will probably solve that. Now, but what does it really mean for brokers? For brokers, experts say servicing retail clients and survival of the fittest will be the order of the day. Now, 
clients like you and I will actually be looking for brokers who can manage their finances and pass on all the benefits and enhance limits for the stocks to them for a shorter settlement cycle. Now they also say this cycle is good for brokers in terms of reducing the working capital requirements for these brokers. So those are the instances coming in from experts. But what are the key challenges that institutions will face in the shorter settlement cycle? Institutional investors, mainly the foreign funds or the foreign investors could actually face big challenges here in the T plus zero settlement. Because unlike retail traders who bring in money before their trades are executed, large funds operate differently. Same day settlement for these investors will mean bringing in even larger sums of money in advance, exposing them to currency risk. And therefore, brokerages have also said that foreign investors will have to cough up money at least a day before the trade as well, considering the time zone differences. So that could be a bit of a challenge when it comes to foreign funds. But how has the stock trade settlement cycle evolved in India? Well, there was a time when in India also, in the stock markets, people would have to wait for five days before the stock would get reflected in their account or five days till the time money would get reflected in their account. After a T plus 5 cycle that was back in the year maybe two th before 2000, it moved to a T plus 3 cycle in 2002. It reduced uh, to two, T plus 2 in 2003 and further reduced to T plus 1 just off in the last few years and now we are looking at a T plus 0 settlement. So how are stock trades settled in the rest of the world? What is the priority and what is the kind of practice that is followed? Well, most markets worldwide still follow T plus 2 stock trade settlement. For instance, in the US, it is scheduled to shift to T plus 1 on May 28. So it is far behind us. We are already at T plus 1 and US is still working with T plus 2. It will shift to T plus 1 only on May 28. European Union may also follow suit, will also look at how shorter settlement cycle plays out in the world's largest securities market too. And here is what, in our exclusive conversation with National Stock Exchange's MD and CEO Ashish Kumar Chauhan really said as to what this really means for India and the Indian stock market and retail investors. Listen in. In, in fact, uh, SEBI has also initiated the process so over next six months, we might see uh, even uh, real-time uh, settlement. So those are what I call more transaction processing, more technological prowess of the country, not only uh, of exchanges, but act actually uh, 10 crore investors and uh, so many uh, thousands of brokers and custodians and clearing houses and banks. And it just shows, uh, it's a symbol of uh, the technic technological prowess of the entire country to move fast, right? Yes. And when other countries are still discussing T plus one yes. and uh, still are very uh, afraid of moving on to that, I think we, we do execution well as a country. So we do execution well as a country is what Ashish Kumar uh, Chauhan really mentioned. And this is definitely a step in the positive direction for retail investors as large. So now you know what exactly is the T plus zero settlement. And this will largely get uh, into maximum number of shares pretty soon. Initially only for 25 stocks and eventually for all the stocks as well. So do look out and do speak to your brokers as well to find out whether they are offering this service already or not. <laughs>